क्वेश्चन नंबर वन विच इलेक्ट्रोलाइट इम्बेलेंस इज मोस्ट कॉमनली एसोसिएटेड विथ टेटनी द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी हाइफोकेलसीमिया क्वेश्चन नंबर टू विच ऑर्गन प्रोड्यूस एरोथ्रोफोइटिन टू स्टिमुलेट रेड ब्लड सेल प्रोडक्शन द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी किडनी क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री वट इज द प्राइमरी कॉज ऑफ डायबिटिक किडो एसिडोसिस The right answer is option C, pet metabolism producing ketones. Question number four: Which vitamin is essential for blood clotting? The right answer is option C, vitamin K. Question number five: The best site for intramuscular injection in an adult is. The right answer is option C, gluteus medius. Question number six: Which diagnostic test is most commonly used to confirm a myocardial infarction? The right answer is option B, troponin levels. Question number seven: A patient with COPD is likely to show which arterial blood gas result? The right answer is option C, respiratory acidosis. Question number eight: Which type of shock is caused by severe allergic reactions? The right answer is option C, anaphylactic shock. Question number nine: The first line drug for anaphylaxis is. The right answer is option B, epinephrine. Question number ten: Which medication is commonly used to treat heart failure by reducing fluid overload? The right answer is option B, furosemide. Question number eleven: A patient with tuberculosis should be placed under which type of isolation? The right answer is option C, airborne precautions. Question number twelve: The universal recipient blood type is. The right answer is option C, AB positive. Question number thirteen. What is the normal range for blood pH? The right answer is option B, seven point thirty-five up to seven point four five. Question number fourteen: Which organ is primarily affected in nephrotic syndrome? The right answer is option C, kidneys. Question number fifteen: Which artery is commonly used to check the pulse in an unconscious patient? The right answer is option C, carotid. Question number sixteen. The most common cause of hospital acquired infections is 
The right answer is option B for hygiene. Question number 17. What is the antidote for Wefren overdose? The right answer is option B, vitamin K. Question number 18. Which part of the brain controls breathing? The right answer is option B, medulla oblongata. Question number 19. Which hormone regulates blood glucose levels? The right answer is option B, insulin. Question number 20. Which of the following is a symptom of hypoglycemia? The right answer is option B, confusion. Question number 21. Which condition is commonly treated with atrophine? The right answer is option B, bradycardia. Question number 22. What is the first sign of increased intracranial pressure? The right answer is option B, restlessness. Question number 23. Which electrolyte imbalance is commonly seen in Addison's disease? The right answer is option C, hyperkalemia. Question number 24. Which of the following is a common side effect of opioids? The right answer is option C, respiratory depression. Question number 25. What is the most common complication of long-term corticosteroid use? The right answer is option B, osteoporosis. Question number 26. The Glasgow comma scale is used to assess. The right answer is option B, neurological status. Question number 27. A positive swastic sign indicates. The right answer is option B, hypocalcemia. Question number 28. The most common side of peptic ulcer is. The right answer is option C. Dodenum. Question number 29. Which immunoglobulin is involved in allergic reactions? The right answer is option C, IgE. Question number 30. The antidote for opioid overdose is. The right answer is option C, naloxone. Question number 31. Which of the following is an early sign of hypoxia? The right answer is option C, restlessness. Question number 32. The most common complication of prolonged bed rest is. The right answer is option B, deep vein thrombosis, DVT. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी थ्री विच टाइप ऑफ इंसुलिन हैज द पास्ट ऑन सेट ऑफ एक्शन द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी लेस प्रो इंसुलिन Question number thirty-four. The best position for a patient in shock is. The right answer is option A. So fine with legs elevated. Question number thirty-five. The normal serum potassium level is. The right answer is option B, 3.5 up to 5.0 milli equivalent per liter. Question number 36. A patient with Cushing syndrome is likely to have. The right answer is option B, moon face and truncal obesity. Question number thirty-seven. The most reliable indicator of fluid balance in a patient is. The right answer is option B, daily weight. Question number thirty-eight. Which of the following foods is high in iron? The right answer is option C. Spinach. Question number thirty-nine: Which cranial nerve is responsible for vision? The right answer is option A: Optic. Question number forty: Which medication is commonly given to prevent seizure in free eclampsia? The right answer is option A, magnesium sulfate. Question number forty-one: Which hormone is responsible for stimulating uterine contractions during labor? The right answer is option B, oxytocin. Question number forty-two. The normal urine output per hour for an adult should be at least. The right answer is option C, thirty milliliter. Question number thirty-four: Which of the following is an early sign of increased intracranial pressure? The right answer is option C, restlessness. Question number forty-four: Which blood test is the best indicator of renal function? The right answer is option B: serum creatinine. Question number forty-five: Which of the following is the most common site for fresher ulcers? The right answer is option C, sacrum. Question number forty-six: Which electrolyte imbalance is common in patients with chronic kidney disease? The right answer is option B, hyperkalemia. Question number forty-seven. The recommended rate for chest compression during CPR in adults is. The right answer is option C, hundred up to hundred and twenty per minutes. Per minutes. Question number forty-eight. The antidote for heparin overdose is. The right answer is option B, protamine sulfate.
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी नाइन विच ऑफ द पॉलोइंग इज अ लेट साइन ऑफ हाई फॉक्सिया द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए साइनोसिस क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप टू प्रिवेंट द स्प्रेड ऑफ इन्फेक्शन इन हॉस्पिटल इज The right answer is option B proper hand hygiene. Thanks for your precious time. Thanks for watching.